Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys my November TBR, which I am super, super excited about. I mean, I'm always excited about my monthly TBR videos. I don't know, this one just feels extra exciting because I'm reading a lot of books that are part of series that I am really, really enjoying right now. Also, because this is the last video that I am filming in October, I thought I would go all out with a Halloween look. So I'm wearing a black shirt and very dark lipstick and orange eyeshadow shadow for the occasion. So without further ado, let's just get into the book. So the first one that I really want to get to this month is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This is the first installment in the Ark of a Scythe series. The Toll, which is the third and final book, is actually coming out this coming month in November. So that is really exciting and that is also why I really wanted to go ahead and start this series because I actually have already pre-ordered The Toll even though I haven't read any of these books yet. But I have read some of Neil Schusterman's books books before and I have really been loving them. I have read Challenger Deep and Dry, which he co-wrote with his son, but Challenger Deep was a very unique and cool story and I know that this is something quite different, so I'm really interested to see how Neil Schusterman does dystopian. So this basically centers around a dystopian society where it's kind of like a utopia because they've found a way to like get rid of all disease and I think they've also found a way to like get rid of of crime and basically anything that could kill you and so in order to control the population they have what are called scythes and they are the ones that have to decide who among the population has to be killed. And this series I believe centers around two scythes in training that I believe fall in love with each other and I'm just really interested to get into this. I know that this is going to be pretty dark but also really fascinating and interesting. Like I said I'm already a huge fan of Neil Schusterman so I'm definitely really looking forward to this this month. This next one will come as no surprise to any of you if you have been following me for any amount of time and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I am once again continuing my reread of this iconic series. This is actually my very first time rereading these books so that has been really fun and I will of course be doing a reading vlog for this just like I have with the other books. So if you're interested in seeing those vlogs I do have a playlist on my channel for those reading vlogs. And yeah I'm super stoked to continue my reread. This installment has lots of dragons and the Triwizard Tournament. I mean, what's not to love? So this next book is another series that I'm going to start this month that I am so stoked about because it is a really iconic YA science fiction series and that is The Illuminae Files by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is such a cool series that I have really been wanting to read for a long time. So I'm just going to read to you the short little blurb on the back because I don't really know what this is about, but it says the year is 2575 and two rival mega corporations are at war over a planet that's little more than an ice covered speck. Now, with enemy fire raining down on them, exes Katie and Ezra, who are barely even talking to each other, are forced to escape on the evacuating fleet, and that synopsis has immediately drawn me in. Also, what is really cool about this series is that it's like mixed media, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's not really like told in a traditional way. That's just to kind of give you an idea of like what this looks like. But yeah, it's definitely not told in a traditional way. And I've also heard that the audiobooks for this series are incredible because they are a full cast of characters. So I think what I'm going to do is listen to the audiobook and physically read it simultaneously because I don't want to miss out on like the visual work of the series, but I also don't want to miss out on the audiobooks. I've actually been doing that a lot recently where I'll listen to an audiobook and read the physical book at the same time. And I've actually really been enjoying that experience just because it really immerses you into the story. I feel like you're using a lot of your senses because you're using both your eyes and your ears and it's just a really cool reading experience. So I would definitely recommend trying that out if you haven't yet. Okay so the next book I'm going to read is Two Dark Reigns by Kendara Blake. This is the third installment in the Three Dark Crown series. I feel like I've been talking about this series a lot on my channel recently so I'm not really going to go into a synopsis but this is the third book like I said and I really really enjoy 
Void One Dark Throne, which was the second installment. I read that this past month and I thought it was infinitely better than the first book. So I'm really interested to see where the story goes from here. The ending of that last book was very interesting and it went in a very different direction than what I was expecting. And then after this installment, I only have one more book to the series. So yeah, I'm just really excited to see where the series goes from here and then eventually how this series will end. The next book I'm going to get to this month is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book of the Renegades trilogy. The third and final book called Supernova is actually coming out this coming month in November. So I really wanted to make sure that I got caught up with the series before that third and final book came out because I definitely pre-ordered it. And I talked about Renegades in my mid-October wrap-up. So if you're interested in hearing my in-depth thoughts about it, definitely go check out that video. But I really enjoyed it. There were definitely some really cool things going on in that first book, but there were also some drawbacks. But it wasn't quite enough for me to rate it less than five stars. So I'm very interested to see how this installment works out. I've kind of heard that it's not as good as Renegades, which kind of worries me because like I said, it wasn't like that perfect five star read for me. And I really wanted it to be because there's so many good things going for it. So I'm kind of worried about this installment, but we will just have to see and I will definitely let you guys know what I think of it. Okay, you have no idea how excited I am about this next book. I'm going to read Layer of Dreams by Libba Bray, which is book two in the Diviners series. I listened to the audiobook for the Diviners, which is the first installment this past month. And to say that I loved it is quite an understatement. I am probably going to rave about it a lot in my end of October wrap up, which should be going up on Saturday. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But that first installment was just incredible. And I cannot wait to read this next installment because a lot of people have been saying that this one is even better than the first book if that is possible. In case you don't know this is a paranormal kind of fantasy series that's set in the 1920s in New York City and it centers around this girl named Evie who moves in with her uncle who lives in Manhattan and this installment I believe has to do with like a sleeping sickness whereas the first book centered around this ghost called Naughty John that was sacrificing people to Satan so it was definitely a very dark and sometimes very scary story but at the same time it was just so cool and interesting and I loved the 1920 setting. I just feel like there's nothing like this in the YA genre or in literature in general. It's just so cool and unique. I'm definitely also going to listen to the audiobook for this one just because they are so well done. The narrator's name I think is January Lavoie and she did such a phenomenal job giving each of the characters very distinct voices but I can definitely say without a shadow of a doubt that January Lavoie is probably the best audiobook narrator that I have ever listened to. So I feel like there's no other way to take in this series other than to listen to the audiobooks because they are just that great. And the last book that I physically own that I really want to read in November is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass. I can't believe I am finally here. This is the seventh and final installment in the Throne of Glass series. It is definitely becoming one of my favorite series of all time. I've given all of these books at least four stars. They are just so amazing to me personally. I know not everybody loves Sarah J Mass, but personally I really love her writing style and I love the stories that she tells. So this book is gonna take me probably like years to finish because it is almost a thousand pages. I think it clocks in at like 984 pages. I've also been doing a reading vlog series documenting my experience reading this series for the very first time. So rest assured that there will definitely be a reading vlog for Kingdom of Ash and because this book is so long that will probably be a very lengthy vlog so definitely be on the lookout for that in the next coming weeks. Then there are two more books on my TBR that I do not physically own so the first book that I want to read is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This is a series that I actually pre-ordered the box set for because the final installment came out I believe this past month so I pre-ordered the hardcover box set of that and that should should be coming in I think this week actually so that's really exciting so I will definitely have a physical copy to read in November. I really don't know much about the series but this is a very iconic darker YA historical series so I'm very much looking forward to it. I think this is the perfect time of year to read this and then the other book that I definitely want to read this is actually going to be a reread for me is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read this back in April and I talked about it quite a bit because 
because I loved it so much. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm in the mood to reread this. And I listened to the audiobook the first time and I'm definitely going to listen to the audiobook again. It was just that fantastic. And I feel like that is really the only way that this story should be taken in. Basically because the format is like an interview slash documentary format. So I think that listening to the audiobook is really the way to go. This is for sure going to be in my top favorite books of the year. But yeah, I just really wanted to reread it to just kind of solidify my love for it. And like I said, I'm just really in the mood for this kind of story. All right, that is going to be it for my November TBR. I am so, so excited about every single book that I have in this stack of books next to me. There are a few other books that I want to get to that are ebooks that I own, whether they are eARCs from NetGalley or just other ebooks that I've gotten for my Kindle. But I haven't really solidified which of those I want to read, so that's why they're not included in this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and pushing that like button. Also, don't forget to push that notification bell button below so that you will be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!